Hi, so today I'm going to be making a curried root vegetable soup and I'm, this is the ingredients that I'm going to be using and I'm going to be making it in my new soup maker. So this is the first time I'm using this so <clears throat> I will give a review after I've actually used it and I'll tell you if it's good or not um, and whether it's uh, worth going and purchasing one. So <clears throat> to start with I'm going to use two carrots, a parsnip, some garlic, I'm not using all the garlic so don't panic, um, a white potato, some sweet potato, two onions, some swede and I will be using a vegetable stock cube and I will mix that up with some hot water to fill the soup maker up with. There will be salt, pepper, cumin, uh, gar garam masala, I can never say that, and some ground coriander and I think I'll probably use half a teaspoon of these three. The salt and pepper is <clears throat> a desired taste when you're making soup, so I will just add what I normally add to soups, which is probably a really a good few twists of the um, peppered, the black pepper, and probably just a little bit of salt because this contains some salt as well. So you really got to kind of try it and then maybe add a little bit of salt after it's cooked as well. <clears throat> so this is what I'm going to use. I will show you this all chopped up and uh, just before I put it into the soup maker and we will go from there. So all the vegetables are diced up and they have been washed so it's all nice small sizes. Um, you must, when you're using a soup maker, <clears throat> you have to dice or slice your vegetables. You can't just throw in like great big lumps. So <clears throat> I would, I would suggest that size. Uh, my onion and my garlic is in there. My vegetable so stock is in there with all the spices and the salt and the pepper. So <clears throat> let's try and do this one handed of getting all this into the soup maker. I should have put it in a jug. I need to get a set up for this. Right, let me see. Oh, there's plenty of them. I was worried about the vegetables because you've inside there you have got <clears throat> a minimum and a maximum line and I was quite worried that it was going to be too much. So in pops the onion and the garlic. <clears throat> Just giving this another little stir and I will pull that in. Oops, it's leaking. <clears throat> I'm going to fill it up to the maximum, sorry, fill it up to the maximum, give it a little stir, I know I don't really need to, <clears throat> and then I'm going to, it's my finger as you can see, the shadows, <laughs> uh, pop on the lid, I'm going to make sure it's on securely, which I think it is, and then I'm going to select the smooth mode, and then press start and we shall see how that goes. So the soup is finished and I'm going to try and take the handle off. Oh it looks nice and thick. Sorry the lighting is not great. <clears throat> so I'm just going to unplug it because I have to stretch over and I'm going to Pour it and see. Mm, it's nice and creamy. And I'm going to taste it. Just grab a little spoon. It's a little bit runnier than what I would normally make for my soup. So that's probably because I've probably put in too much um, liquid. Oh, but it tastes really nice. <clears throat> Um, next time I think I'll probably not put in as much um, stock or maybe add more vegetables, one of the two, because um, when you're doing it on the stove you kind of get to see, let's take another taste, mm. yeah definitely nice, it does taste like how I would normally do it, it just looks a little bit more um, <clears throat> runnier than what I would have yeah but doing it on the stove you get to see the quantity and you see it cooking slowly 
whereas when you put it in the soup um, maker it's on and you can't see it until it's actually finished so if you are doing this soup on the stove I would recommend frying your onions and your garlic first then adding in your um, your root vegetables adding a little bit of stock getting that a little bit thick um, a little bit thick a little bit cooked <laughs> um, then adding more of your stock blending it and then adding the rest of your stock uh, slowly so that you know what consistency you want it to be so overall I'm pretty happy with it it's a learning experience using that for the first time and I will be back with more soup recipes in the next day or two so um, thumbs up if you've enjoyed this um, and if you're just watching this uh, my channel for the first time then um, be great if you could subscribe and uh, I'm off to have a, a nice bowl of soup with some bread